It's time to play Big Deal, No Deal. Big Deal. No deal. Brought to you by Brady Industries, a provider of commercial cleaning supplies and equipment throughout the western United States for over 65 years. Brady Industries Clean Solutions, a tradition for generations. Number one. Big deal, no deal. BYU and Utah now scheduled to play football for the next six years. This is a big deal in every sense of the term because, as I said early, when BYU and Utah play College football benefits, not just people within the rivalry. College football as a whole gets to enjoy and really experience one of the underrated rivalries in all of college sports. A, I love it. This is a big deal. Like my hair, man. See my big fluffy hair. Big deal. See that? See that, Spencer? You want to touch it? <laughs> <laughs> this is a big deal, man. We said it. We we can't say it enough, dude. And bigger, big for the fans for, on both sides. And for college football as a whole, happy that Tom got this done. Number two. Before number two, bigger deal that three of the next three six years, three of the next six years will start with the BYU-Utah game, which means a summer of fun. Oh, Ooh. I love it. I love the hype and the buildup for that Ooh. game as the season opener is amazing. So, yeah, that just makes it an even bigger deal when you get to those games in 2019 through 2022. Can you think about all the pranks? Fantastic stuff. Oh, the fun stuff. pranks? Okay, now, Ben, what's the next big deal? Big no deal. deal, no deal. BYU Hoops shoots 41.3% from the three-point line. They were bombing it. Buckets! This is a big deal because anytime you shoot 40% or better from the three-point line, it can only mean good things. If BYU can be 35% or better this year, they're going to win a ton of basketball games. They might even shock a few teams if they can keep up Again, plus 35%. So 41 last night with all those freshmen, yeah. I thought that was fantastic. So let me ask you a question, Spencer. Is, is BYU traditionally normally a good three-point shooter team? Yeah, I think that BYU is is a, an, Usually, a right? good three-point shooting team. But that, that mark is generally like 35%-ish. Okay, then I would say a big deal then. Because to me, I, would f I feel like since BYU, I know with BYU that they're, they're going to have shooters. And so the fact that they've done this, it's it's. I mean, I guess with the mark being thirty five percent, it's a big deal. But I mean, I would be more ec excited, ecstatic that they have some post players and somebody that's named Yoli. Okay. So you, you get my point, Gear. I'm coming there. Now here's so. the thing, and we talked about this last night on the Cougar Tip Off, because BYU has post players. The three-point yeah. line is open they play, more now. They can because play inside out, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. This is the run-pass effect in football, if you will. Defending the post opens up the three-point mm -hmm. line. You start to make three-point shots, you're forced out, and you go back into the post. Yep. This is the, BYU basketball. There we go. Big deal. Number three. Let's go back to football. Big deal, no deal. BYU football schedules a home-and-home -home series with Minnesota. Brian, you do the honors on this one. I'm say it's a big deal, man. It's another opportunity to compete against a P5 school, and I think it's a, it's a, it's a winnable game. Um, and it's, a, it's another opportunity as well to, you know, to travel um, over to the East Coast and, uh, you know, for fans to see, uh, opportunity for recruits, right? Uh, I mean, you, you start to really grow your recruiting your recruiting base by having uh, possible recruits actually being at the game, right? So big deal and, and more than just the actual play on the field. Um, fans, recruits, all that good stuff. See, f I, for a hundred reasons, I think this is absolutely a big deal. But the one reason I say it's no deal is because it's not till 2020 and 2025, which is kind of depressing. You got to wait a while for this game. I mean, the 2025 one is not going to happen because <laughs> of the conference realignment. So let's just let's just get that in right now. But at least at least the 2021 will happen. Yeah, that seems so. that seems uh, yeah. hopeful. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. Gonna, that's going to happen. Very yeah, cool. Yeah, 2020 yeah. schedule is fantastic, by yeah. the way. Number four. Hey, is Mr. Incredible still going to be the coach of Minnesota in 2025? <laughs> Mr. Incredible. Craig T. Nelson. <laughs> Isn't that Minnesota State, the Screaming Eagles? Oh. Oh, Minnesota State, the screen. Okay, never mind. Let's Dumber! go to the next one. <laughs> Big four. deal, no deal. Kyle Van Oy playing for the New England Patriots. Big deal, man. About to get him a ring. Go on a team that, <laughs> go on a team that wins. I want to play for a team that wins. Now you can make money and win games. I think Kyle Van Noy hit the lottery for a couple of reasons. Yes, because his chances of winning a Super Bowl and getting a Super Bowl ring have now exponentially <laughs> increased. But I think that 
the validation of Bill Belichick and that staff wanting Kyle Van Noy and to utilize him will give him the confidence that he needs to go and excel. His his career thus far has been kind of marred by injuries. He just yeah. got himself into the starting lineup at Detroit, but now he gets to go and showcase those skills for the Patriots, and I think that that is the confidence boost that he needs to be successful. Kyle Van Noy playing yes. for Belichick and the New England Patriots. Yes, get you a ring, Kyle. <laughs>